The following program is an original production of WICC PBS Chicago. Yes, I'm part of the paranormal team. Um, I'm called the debunker um, <laughs> because I'm supposed to look at the so-called evidence very critically and then sort of try and debunk it. And you know, in my opinion, as it turns out, most of the time it can, it can be debunked if you're really careful about it. Uh, but there are times when you cannot clearly debunk it. So those are times when I prefer to say, we don't know what happened. We can't explain it. As opposed to some others that prefer to say, that was a ghost. This is the latest uh, development for V Paranormal, and it's going to be called uh, the Paraselfie. And uh, again, we're trying to capture a visual image of something paranormal, an entity. So this is going to be a way to motivate an entity to go in front of a camera, and they're going to select what, which makes them look the best. And hopefully motivate something paranormal to happen, where they will pick the best selection of the strobe here and make themselves appear on the monitor, and we'll capture that video or a picture of it. This device that's in front of me is called a mobile Paralab, and I wanted to be able to walk around in an environment, a haunted environment, and have some of my lab equipment there and not be touching it or be near me. So this has many devices on there that we normally put on tables, but now we can walk around with it. And that's pretty unique because you can get, you can corrupt and ruin the evidence by touching things and being too close to it. So I'm not an advocate of holding equipment. So this is holding it for me, the mobile Paralab. So this is a, one of the devices I developed and it's called the Parashadow. And we're kind of going in the direction of trying to capture entities on film. So this uses a special parabolic mirror behind me and an HD camera and we're trying to capture anything that goes in front of this mirror's, mirror because some paranormal investigators feel there's a correlation between mirrors and the paranormal. This particular mirror focuses energy and lets us see it. So we can hopefully see something paranormal like a shadow figure that crosses this area. Mm -hmm. 